be a part. Okay, okay. be a part. So listen, I was um, actually in Africa. For those of you who are going to want to correct me, I know Africa is a continent, but I'm not telling y'all where I was. And Mel um, called me and she started talking a lot about purpose. And I think when you're dealing with pain, um, that when you're overcoming pain, that searching for peace and purpose, I just got chills. Peace and purpose is so, so, so um, important. And I know your, your whole journey is really protecting your peace. So I can't jump right into it, but I wanna ask you first, what does peace look like to you? What, what, what are you doing? Because a lot of people are worried about you. What are you doing to keep your peace? So first of all, girl, I didn't know we was in an interview. In an interview, what you, girl, you know this is how I talk. Okay, you want me to talk like I'm your friend? You want me no. to be the, the friend? No. Off, listen, off I, listen, I thought we were sitting out talking about something else. But listen, that's your need for you, baby. I, so I'm going to go with the flow, okay? I'm going with the flow. Um, <laughs> girl, how I'm just saying. We just jump in and we supposed to be talking about these people got to know why you about to do what you going to do. I can't say, let me tell y'all. No, they're going to be like, why is she doing that? Why is she going there? For what? So you need to tell them first. Okay, okay. So um, peace, <laughs> you get on my nerves, Shanita. <laughs> so peace for me. And you may not bring up that phone bill either on here. But anyway, um, peace for me. <laughs> Um, it's literally waking up every day and um, finding a way to keep like um, a calm energy, you know, um, how to move in a way where I'm not having to worry about too many things. Um, and a big part of me that helps bring me peace, of course, you know, are my children um, being able to know that I am working hard to supply them, you know, with a certain lifestyle, with a, with a certain, giving them, you know, outside of the material things, you know what I'm saying? Like giving them a certain love, you know, um, that brings joy and peace for me. Um, and then outside of that, giving back, um, finding ways to love on people, you know, um, you know, I just had my Valentine's things here with my girlfriends and, you know, found a way to love on them. Then there was something else I did for some of my friends, which you were a part of and finding ways to love on them. So ways that I can love on people, um, that also helps me to maintain a peaceful, calm state in my life as well. Because like you said, there's so much going on. There's so much happening. Um, and I just refuse to allow that to be at the forefront of my day every day. I just refuse to. And to be real with you, having people like you, you know, um, around in my life who are also pouring positivity into me or what we call a refilling my cup, right? As a friend, as a true friend, um, that also helps too. Yeah. So I'm going to jump into it because she rushing me y'all. She said, don't bring up the phone bill. Uh, but I got a real high phone bill. Y'all going to hear about that on a different day because her peace was being disrupted on that day. We ain't gonna say who, what, when, where, and why, but they was disrupting my friend's peace. And I I told her, I said, you know, I get a big part of my peace by constantly walking in my purpose. And for those who don't know, my purpose is really serving people on the continent of Africa. I can't just pick one country at this point because I'm in Nigeria and Ghana and Aswatini. I don't want to start leaving people out of Zimbabwe, Kenya. I started getting phone calls about me leaving out of African countries. So I just say Africa. And Mel came to me and said, you know, on my peace and purpose journey, I'm ready. I said, you ready for what? She said, I'm ready to go to Africa and serve. And I said, hey, my friend is going to Africa. So he, listen, we had to do the live first because I didn't want y'all to be talking about Mel flew out to go find an African prince, a president, a king, because she got on the plane to go to Africa with me. She is coming to Africa to serve, to go on this peace and this purpose journey walk. And you want me to tell them what you're going to do or you're going to tell them what you decided to do and then I'll back you up. You can go ahead and tell them. You She's all right, go ahead and tell them. So she decided that she wants to give clean, fresh water with me mm -hmm. to a village in Ghana, and she wants to dedicate it to the Melometers. So not only 
the children in that village, but it's actually something that she would be able to share with the millimeters who have been on this long journey right. with her or whatever. So I came up with the idea. Let me clear this up too. <laughs> Mel got more than enough money to purchase a water well on her own. Mm -hmm. But for me, I love planting seeds and allowing other people to be involved. And so what we came up with is if you are a diehard millimeter, you're going to be able to leave your name, your name on the water well in Africa. Yeah. So literally, we're going to take every name. It's a $100 donation, y'all. The money goes to building the water project. We're going to do some cool stuff with the kids. But we're going to put your name on that water project along with Melody's. And it's going to say dedicated by the millimeters. And I got, I got real jiggy with it. This wasn't her idea. So I'll be like, it's about money. It's not. But you have an option to click and to get your own plaque that we're going to mail to you at your house so you can have a piece of what happened too. Uh, so I'm super, super excited. My girl going to Africa. You got to take it back. I'm excited, Fran. You excited? I am super excited so i've never been to africa so you know and you've been trying to get me to go for some time uh somebody you tried to hook me up with was trying to fly me over there many a time Girl, don't make me go uh, into the whole story how mel out here turning out billionaires because she got this list i don't even listen it's a it's a movie about you mel it's a movie what? about some man that wrote this list about the person had to do all the qualities. I think it's like a French movie to do all these qualities in order for him to get married. Don't be that person, Mel. The list is too long, child. I don't feel like my list is too long. Um, so <laughs> I she y'all, Shanita jokes with me all the time and be like, she just girl, I just give up. Like, I mean, uh da, 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 girl, I'm like, and what did I what did I say? I said, Well, there's somebody for everybody. <laughs> told her today i was like I, there's this guy but he kind of short she was like he could be short for somebody else girl i mean for somebody else he's gonna be amazing for someone else and then listen i'm you already know this shanita you know i ain't really desperate for nobody you know i love how i live right now i love everything that i'm doing so you already know i'm good i'm okay cool. you good but on this trip to africa you you gonna eat some food yeah you're going to dance a little bit? You're going to hang out? Yeah, I'm going to hang okay. out. Yes. I'm I don't know if I can bring her on, Angel. Angel Ray Entertainment. She said we outside, Mel. You're going to go out. We're going to go to the village. Okay. But you are going to go out, and you're going to experience both sides. Yes. I feel like every country has something to offer. And I, I'm not knocking anybody's country. Everybody's country has wealthy and then they have a side that needs a little bit of work. I don't call it poverty. It needs a little bit of work. So we're going to go to the part that needs a little bit of work. But don't be shocked, y'all, because I'm going to take her to the other side, too. Okay. She needs to see that Africa, uh, there, there's big, beautiful houses. There's wealth there. There's a nightlife like no other. Male, they dance, baby. They do not go and stand on the wall. You're going to be right at home. Okay. Because you, you like, know I like to dance. I love to dance. Dan, so that's perfect. But no, I, um, when we had that conversation that day and we started talking about, you know, peace and we started talking about purpose and then you were like, Hey, you should do this water project, you know, in Ghana. And it was like, yeah. And you say, here's what you do. Let your millimeters be a part of it so that they can plant a seed and they can, you know, and I was like, yeah, that's a great idea. Um, and I'll be honest with you when it comes to the millimeters, they already know how I feel when it comes to, cause we've done it. We have blessed people randomly. Um, one lady, I remember she had um, lost her home to a fire and she and her grandchildren were staying in a hotel and we all collectively came together and blessed her, you know? So we all fortunately understand the importance of coming together and being able to make a bigger impact, being able to understand that I personally can't go, maybe can't go in this situation. Of course, I'm going to Africa, but situations where if you can't get there, you help sense the person who can get there. And that's oh. how you get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That is how you send your seed, you know? Um, and so I'm big on that. So I know the millimeters. I just know, I, I know they're going to love it. I know they're going to be a part of it. 
Um, and I'm looking forward to it, to be honest. Like I said, I've never been to Africa. Um, and so going with a purpose, you know, matters to me. My first trip there with a mission, with a purpose, taking clean water, giving a village, you know, clean water, that's purpose. You know, that's a mission. So I'm super excited about it. All right, Melometer. So listen, y'all, it's going to be limited space for this name because the Melometer, they wide and they deep. And it's a lot of, it's a lot of y'all that's down with the Melometer. So listen, you can go to beyondthegame.org. I pinned it at the bottom. You're going to see Mel's picture on there. So, you know, it's specifically for that specifically for that you're going to go you're going to click make sure you fill out the information because we want to make sure that your name is yeah. on this project you are planting your seed you are leaving your name i just want to end by saying mel the millimeters is something special right yeah like i i i tell you that every time i see you that i love the fact that you have created something for people to be a part of and you really allow the millimeters to be a part of things that you do you really do every time you do something it's like millimeters activated and i'm like whoo baby right and i know they got a lot of different like different fan base groups and stuff like that and i'm friends with a lot of people i am but i associates with a lot of people but what i realized is that your base your fan base the millimeters is like something I have never seen before. So I want to say that it takes a beautiful person, a beautiful soul to do that. Shout out to all the millimeters for all of you that have YouTube pages and blogs and podcasts and all of the things that you do from your heart, yep. really to support Mel and everything that she has going on. And being around Mel not too long ago, I realized that they identify with you because there's so many melodies out there. They just don't have the same name. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's so many women that you relate to. Like, you, you the bomb friend. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, you know, I appreciate that because, believe it or not, I spend a lot of time defending the millimeters. I spend a lot of time defending them. I have to let people know and remind people of how the millimeters came about. Um, and, you know, they, you know, the same way they support and love on me, I support and love on them. And you ain't just about to say anything about the millimeters because I'm going to be like, cut, right? Um, so, you know, it's this thing where it's a community of women, you know, and um, we pray for each other. We fast together. Um, we bless people together. You know, um, they know uh, Seventh Avenue. They know that I'm always doing things to give back. So yeah, they go on and purchase products like you did. Thank you. They purchase products and they support Seventh Avenue Beauty, but they also know that the seed, and this is the thing, you have to be careful of where you plant your seed. They know that when they plant a seed with me, they know that it's going to go and yield good results, right? Um, they know that it's going to be used in a way that's positive. And so, um, you know, I try to operate in integrity. I try to operate with a certain level of morals. And that's just how I move. And God is good. And we got to knock this water project out. It's going to be, a, I guess I'll be going to Ghana with you in April. <laughs> you going? She, she, April. She done told the country. I've been saying Africa. Okay, y'all, we going to Ghana first. It's okay. Man, I'll be going everywhere. I was, I was going to leave a little bit of surprise. They're about to be like, oh, my gosh. Okay, Mel done said that we going. She came a whole while. Uh, Lauren! Lauren! Lauren, she talked too much. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was going to give them a little razzle-dazzle, little stuff. What part of Africa is she going to? Oh, she going to Nigeria. Oh, she about to be. I was going to give them a little razzle-dazzle. She done told y'all we going to go. But you don't know where we stand. You don't know what village we going to. Y'all don't know what nightlife we going to. So we still have some prizes. One day. But also... I'm thinking, Mel, after this trip, we talked about it a couple times before. I think you should do a Melometers trip where they can go, maybe not to Ghana, but we can pick another African country, so many to serve. And then you you take some of them with you, not a lot, because you know I travel different. We can take some, not a lot, be, but we can take some with you. That'd be mom, that'd be mom. First of all, I feel, I'm so sorry, because I feel so bad. <laughs> this is how y'all know she comfortable talking to me we don't we just be talking about everything 
She 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 know how to keep it a secret. She, it didn't last long. See, that's how y'all know my friend don't be lying because she really be saying what she tell the truth. So she not good at lying. She don't lie. So you done told the people. You're like, oh, why she keeps saying? Why she keep? And just for the record, we're not going at the end of the year because most people go to Ghana to celebrate at the end of the year. This is happening in the next thirty to sixty days. You know, she got some more filming to do. Mm -hmm. uh, but once she's done with that, we're getting on the first thing, uh, smoking. So I just want y'all, Melometers, get activated. That's what she said. Melometers, activated. Get your name. Hey. <laughs> Listen, get your name on this water project yeah. so you can share with your grandkids. This is something, last thing, I, I started doing things like this because I understood legacy. Outside of my piece, outside of my purpose, I, I now have legacy in countries around the world, specifically Africa, that it touches my heart when I go back. And you will feel it, Mel, and I see some of the projects or people still drinking water, you know, a year, two years from now. I remember one time, um, my kid's dad, I, I had one football jersey with me. I don't know how. Mel, I went back to that country three years later and i seen somebody walking down the street with that football i just started crying to know that my legacy being a girl from detroit east side of detroit has surpassed my biggest dreams and now huntsville alabama is gonna be on the continent of africa so i want people to know how strong that is that it's not just oh it's a hundred dollars and i'm just putting my no you're leaving your legacy as long as those plaques stay on that water project when you decide that you want to travel with your friends or family or to go to ghana you could be like oh you know i dug a water well in, in, in ghana they got fresh clean water because of my seed you know my name is there and so to me that that's real big that's real big that's beautiful and that's what it's all about you know i love you so much i love you, you know i appreciate you you know that and i'm looking forward you know to this being the first of many of okay. many projects that we do in Africa. Maybe I can get it to Nigeria because I will snitch on that. That man I was trying to hook her up with was Nigerian. Since you want to spill the beans, I'm going to spill something too. He was Nigerian, y'all. So y'all already know how they do. They they was coming. They was coming hard. It wasn't, no, wasn't one of them African countries where they play with you. They was, they was coming. Mel was like, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm okay. It's all right. No, what was, what was funny was, and I'm going to share this and I'm going to go, and I'm going to share this because we're friends, right? <laughs> what was funny was when I got my G-Wagon and he called you and was like, she got a G-Wagon? Who got her a G-Wagon? Who got that? <laughs> that man went crazy. When she brought that G-Wagon, baby, I could not convince that man that some other African hadn't touched down in Huntsville, Alabama, and delivered a car to this lady's driveway. He was not, I was like, sir, I don't know where she got her car from. Matter of fact, I didn't even ask. I just congratulated. And if they seen the picture on Instagram, I was just excited to go be a car booty. Cause y'all know me, I got a hundred thousand kids. I'll be putting kids in G wagons and Rolls Royces, you know, male fancy. So I was just waiting to get my car booty picture. And he's talking about where it come from. I'm like, I didn't ask where it came from. I just went to go. That man was mad. Yeah. Baby. Yeah. She made Mel, did you get look, I'm about to start something. Did you get that G Wagon from a, another African? Oh no. No, 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 no. You know what's so funny is, um, believe it or not, how I'm set up mentally, like real talk, is I have not wanted a man to help me do any of the things that I've done post divorce. Um, just keeping it a buck with you. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have, I feel that also God uh, ordained it to be this way to where everything that I've accomplished, everything that I'm doing, everything that I'm purchasing, right? Um, there's nobody else who can come take credit for that. It's me and God. And I love it that way. You know what I'm saying? And that's, you know what? one of the reasons I don't just jump on the, you know, oh, I can jump and be with this person and be taking care of for the rest of my life. Um, I just kind of, I'm enjoying the me and God journey. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm enjoying knowing that like, no, nah, these are the fruits of my labor, the fruits of my sacrifices, the fruits and the favor 
that God has wanted to give to me. And there's no person that can come and take credit for none of it. And I love it that way. All right, I'm going to let you go because she's sleepy, y'all. Uh, get into this box. I just, look, I wasn't even planning this, but I know what I'm about to do. Next time I come to Huntsville, no, no, I got a plan. Watch what I'm going to do. Next time I come to Huntsville, they ain't even got to pay for it. I'm going to start putting free shots of a lie and male stuff because male fan base, let me tell you, and oh, and we keep saying last thing, but this is the last thing. I love you, Mel, for supporting me and my business. Some people get funny and they get famous. And I have other friends, associates, that I might be like, hey, I'm doing this. You know, can you post this or can you post that or can you support? I, ne I never had to ask you to support my business. I, ne I have never had to ask you to repost something. Like if I want you to post something, I may like tag mail in it. She just automatically hit repost. You not you don't ride the petty train. You want everybody to eat. You want everybody around you, you know, to get a a a, a piece of what's out there enough for everybody, including the millimeters. I have seen you post YouTube channels and businesses. Mel, I'm telling you, everybody they don't do that. They would be like, why is she taking her shot? with them, why she talking about her business? And you be like, friend, promote your business. Friend, talk about your business. And I always tell people, it like makes me cry. Like I be crying because support from people is hard. Support from friends is even harder. Getting your friends and family to support you, a stranger is gonna support you before a friend or a family member. So to have a genuine friend, say, go friend, go. Go, yeah, I like it. Like, thank you. Now we can get up. Okay. Uh huh. Well, take your pretty self to bed. Don't call me, y'all. And don't thank me the call me tomorrow. Y'all see how she told me we don't call her? She knows me very well. I was going to hit in live I and I was about to call. That Just for that, I'm not calling. You don't even have to worry about it. Get up. Matter of fact, let me kick how you kick you off live. I don't even go live that much. Hold on. Let me see how I kick you off. Hold on. Let me see. I let, let me see if I can kick you off. She I don't even know how to kick you off. Hit the end button so I can talk to the people. I'm trying to kick you off. I don't even want you on here. Hit the button. You talking no. about you want to go to bed. Bye. No. Oh, you're going to have to end this whole live, baby girl. Okay, I'm going to end the whole live. What was I was going to say when she was gone was to go to beyondthegame.org. Make sure y'all click the link with Melody Rogers on there. Beyondthegame.org is self-explanatory. You fill it out. You make your donation. And then your name goes on the water project. But I really wasn't going to talk about her. I don't even know how to talk about her no more. God said, hey, God Bye, girl. Let me hit the button. Goodbye. Bye, y'all. God said no. She said, God said no. God said no. That's, a, that's about to be a new shit. God, God said no. I want my shirt. I don't stand for abuse. That's why I'm getting <laughs> off of this call. Period.